Hello everybody and welcome back to CFO Conversations. Today I have the pleasure of having Michael with us to join our conversation and we're going to talk about storytelling. Lots of people say to me, how do I tell a story? How do I make this engaging? Um, and as accountants, we could be potentially introverts. And I know that you and I both aren't um, guilty of that, but lots of accountants are very introverted, very shy, don't know how to have that conversation, don't know how to tell that story. So Michael, how, do, how should people think about making a start if they're not good at storytelling? Yeah, sure. Look, your point is valid. Uh, accountants don't tend to be natural storytellers. But, you know, what I say to people is everyone has a story to tell. And in the right environment, you'll find that just about anyone will, will, uh, will be engaged in, in telling a story, whether it's a personal story about themselves or whether it's about a family member. And you just see the change in their their, their body language and their, their, you know, everything about them. Um, so everyone has a story to tell. And for those out there who are parents, we tell those stories every day um, to our children. So it's in all of us. Yes, making that transition to a corporate environment mm. and how we use storytelling to get a message across, how we use storytelling to engage people and to, to help transform businesses in, in, in some cases. Um, takes a little bit of practice, yeah. uh, but as I say, ev everyone's got it in them. Yeah, so I say three things to people, audience, audience, audience. Mm -hmm. Think about your audience, okay? It's a framework around, doesn't matter whether it's a personal story or, or a business story, the framework's the same, but it's about what is it you're gonna talk to me about, be clear so that I'm under I've understood what I'm gonna listen to. Tell me what it is, tell me why should I care and how should I think about that? And then give me you know, a bit of a summary at the end. But you know, being really clear that your message is going to resonate with your audience. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, there's a couple of examples uh, in terms of my own experience where we've had finance functions that have been challenged. Mm. Um, we've had some turnover. We've had um, poor systems and processes which have been weighing on the personnel there. And you know, it's it's about helping them understand that there is a future mm. uh, and that future is quite bright. We've, mm. we've, we've discussed this in a previous conversation about automation and, and becoming true business partners and really unlocking the value of the finance function. But here's where we are and here's the vision of where we get to. Mm. So breaking that down to, you know, what does that mean for me as an individual or each of the individuals you're speaking to? What does it mean for their role? What does it mean to them personally mm. and how do we get there? Mm. So you're right, it's about you know, engaging with the audience. What's, what's the audience you're engaging with and then breaking down each of those elements for them. Yeah. What, you know, paint the picture for me, help yeah. me see what's out there yeah. and then help me understand how we get there. Yeah, and I think back in our past, um, you know, finance often were the, the, the messenger and so everyone shot the messenger and maybe it's not quite like that anymore, but certainly I remember in my experience, most of the messages we were delivering weren't good news. Mm -hmm. So how do we turn the good news, the bad news around to the vision that you talk about? And actually it might not look great, but this is the potential um, for opportunity. And I've, I've mentored a few people that have been practicing this mm -hmm. and I say to them, tell the audience that you care about this. You know, don't make it like you're just reading off a textbook, you know, and you can say something as simple as, look, I care about the solution for this problem as much as you all do because I care about the business and our customers Absolutely. and our future. Absolutely. So, yeah. And as I said at, this, uh, at the beginning, um, we're far more animated about what we're passionate about. Yeah. And, you know, often, as I said, people tell stories about their own family circumstances. They're very passionate about mm. that and mm. it brings out the best in them. Yeah. So if we're passionate about what we do, if we're passionate about the organisation that we work within, if we're passionate about the teams that we lead, mm. then, you know, that storytelling very often comes very naturally yeah. to people. Yeah. Um, but yes, it's a different environment. It's a yeah. corporate environment. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, that's right. And I think, as you said, Practice, 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 and try, if you haven't got opportunities to practice, try and find safe zones where you can practice 
to your colleagues or to a mentor or some group before you have to go and do it in the boardroom per se. Um, but you know, it's, it is the future. It's here now and it's the future. So if you're not good at storytelling, you need to get good at it. Thanks, Michael. Thank you very much.